chicken. Something else is hunting out here. Yeah. And it ain't human. Good morning, everybody. We're back again for another episode. This is John. He was recently discharged honorably from the military. That's really important to get discharged honorably from the military. <laughs> but just want to say thank you for your service, sir. Thank you. And uh, we're heading out to the beach. So Will just showed up. Or actually, no. He was he was here before me. So. Good morning. <laughs> We've got a new diver with us. This is Chris. He's going to be joining alongside of these two fine gentlemen. All right. Welcome back underwater, everybody. If this is your first time to my channel, thanks for tuning in. The sea temperature was 67 degrees and the wave speed 2.5 feet. Visibility was better in some parts than others, but overall it was about 10 to 15 feet. We're making our way through the kelp to head out to Flat Rock. There's usually a group of seals that hang out at Flat Rock, but we've never had a problem with them. Yeah. I take a quick peek in the kelp to see what I find. I take a drop closer to the rocks. The orange fish you see are called Garibaldi. They're the California state fish and they're protected. As I'm swimming along, I notice this opali. So I take my shot. This may look brutal, but braining a fish is the fastest way to dispatch it. If the fish's main diet is plants, like this one is, then you want to gut and bleed it as quick as possible. It makes the quality of the meat taste better. Underneath me, bro. That little bastard smells it. Something else is hunting out here. Yeah. As Spiros, if we allow these harbor seals and sea lions to tax our fish, then they'll do it every time they see a diver in the water. And I wasn't about to let that happen. If you look in the background, it's still keeping its eye on me. There's a seal underneath you. No, not right underneath you, about 10 feet underneath you. Chris was feeling a little seasick, so we started heading in. The struggle is really, guys. <laughs> Chris, you had fun? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. 
Oh, you thought we were done diving for the day? We enter from the other side of the cove. As we were swimming along, John mentioned that he spotted a lobster, but what I failed to see was the female sheep's crab, well disguised, laying right next to it. I guess I was too focused on that bug. And then I spotted this massive lobster. This was one lucky bug, let me tell you. Lobster season this year starts late September, early October. I just wanted to appreciate the creature and show John. Ah! JJ! Look at the size of this fucking thing, dude. And we let it go. Now you gotta deal with that. Well, you gotta be careful, dude. That's gonna fuck you up. John speared a stingray thinking it was a halibut as it was disguised in the sand. No. You're gonna eat it though. It's a stingray. You can cut its fins off and eat it. No, it's totally fing legal. John's first uh, fish is a stingray, and I told him he can eat that. You just gotta cut the fins off. So maybe we'll do that later. Alright. Catch and cook stingray. Shark head! Oh, shark right by you! I'm gonna go ahead and take a guess that that shark was after John's stingray. You saw it? Six foot. Now it's time two. And that pretty much wraps up our dive. So what do you think, John? You had fun? Yeah, I had a blast. I'm hungry now. You need that stingray, bud? Oh, I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> Shark head. <laughs>